Hey Cancer, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is your reading for the 11th to the 17th of June. It's a weekly reading. Of course, it could resonate anytime. Uh, this reading is for Cancer. It's for anyone with Cancer placements or anyone else who's guided to see it for whatever reason they've been guided here. Um, like I said, it could resonate later on down the line. My readings are predictive. So if you don't know what this is, it's even more reason to pay close attention. Multiple different messages and storylines could come out during this reading right till the very last second. And I cannot stress that enough that stuff comes out at the end. It's just Spirit's way of getting messages and information out to people who need them before we click off the video. All right, let's do it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for cancer? What do we need to know? What are the messages? Cancer reading. Great achievement. Well, who didn't know that? Cancer. <laughs> we knew that was coming. Tell me more for cancer, please. What else? Okay new supportive connections and status quo so something is changing and it has to do with a consciousness of lack this is like the five of pentacles okay so consciousness of lack five of pentacles see how it's even a number five card see the top of the card but it's a state of consciousness and it shows fives mean change and we can clearly see you're going to have a cycle change You've been in the status quo. You've been in the same old, same old of these fives, right? We've talked about this for cancer before. You've been in the fives. You've been in, some of you have been in a dark night of the soul. Some of you have been in a spiritual awakening. You know, you've been in a time of really deep reflection. You've gone through some really hard times and you stayed in it. Status quo status quo saying this was your norm to be in the consciousness of lack to be in the lower vibration uh, something that you went through and all of you went through different things caused this but guess what it's like remember last week's I just got chills if you have not seen last week's reading and not everybody watched it because it had lower views than usual I don't know why I guess it's the title possibly so if you guys have not watched it please do watch it because it directly explains what's happening here a whole new colorful world that you're in now from this to this great achievement and new supportive connections so this is really a big deal okay so great achievement is an event and people card is new supportive connections all right, now, I always say these two are peanut butter and jelly. They look like they really just go together. There's something here about this. Now, this says people, not just one person. It says new supportive connections. But for some of you, it could be one person, right? It's going to be different for each of you. For others of you, it's going to be a new group, a new soul tribe, a new community, right? Um, great achievement this is going to be an event that happens a lot of you are moving remember we've talked about it i don't see that here but i definitely feel like moving changing jobs doing something different De definitely something different so this change is really really going to do you good um it takes you out of the consciousness of lack that you were in for a while a whole cycle's worth right and puts you in a whole new cycle this great achievement is the number one card it's the beginning of the new cycle that you're about to start here. Uh, really nice energy. Um, the energy is going to be completely different in this cycle than it was before. Now remember, consciousness of lack is one of the consciousness cards, right? And at the bottom of your deck is present power, a whole different kind of consciousness. Now this was your bottom card, but right behind it is present power. I just thought it bared mentioning, you know? Anyway, let's go on and see what comes out here for cancer. There's definitely a change coming. Uh, if he has an, some of you are already in this change. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know here for cancer? What are the messages? Great achievement, new supportive connections, status quo, and a consciousness of lack. What do we need to know about this reading? new cycle coming in due to something that's a great achievement in your life i cannot wait to see what this is what is this for cancer what do we need to know what are the messages this could be for cross watchers as well if you're here it's your reading right regardless of your sign what do we need to know what are your messages what do we need to know what are your messages 
All right, Cancer reading. What's most important? This is for the entire week and whenever you are guided to see it. It could resonate later on as well because my readings are predictive. Remember that as we're watching it. This could be a heads up at, uh, about something that's coming on coming in later on down the line and you just needed to see it this week to prepare for it all right what do we need to know for cancer or anyone else who's guided to see this reading now or later on whoa yeah absolutely we've got two of cups reversed and the tower reversed the magician almost came out but it went back in so we'll see if it comes out uh what do we need to know please what are the messages okay the eight of cups okay so this is somebody definitely walking away from a relationship there's no way to change what this message is um a partnership some kind of a partnership it's a decision somebody and there it goes the magician came right back out i knew it was trying to get out here okay yeah well it's going to take you out of your um lack consciousness it's going to take you out of the fives which we see right here all right so we have the seven of pentacles and the five of cups here so this is i've been waiting and waiting and waiting for something to actually grow right for something to produce something here or i've been stuck in this this really feels to me like being you know stuck in this five of cups and the five of pentacles for a long time right we're not going to do that anymore so we're getting out of that but you're getting out of that by um i feel like this two of cups and tower reverse it either already happened or you're it or it's going to happen okay so in other words <clears throat> you're right now contemplating where am i going to go what am i going to do what path am i choosing see how she sits with the, the one wand in her hand and the other one's over there in the corner so this is really somebody who's deciding what wand they're going to pick up and see the globe down there where what direction am i going to go in this is reversed i feel as though you you are go right in this time frame here you're figuring that out so you, we've got this queen of swords laser focused on something and it's going to turn whoa i did not know okay it's going to turn the wheel and it's going to put you in the whole new world the whole new cycle right there okay she's right now deciding what she's going to do to turn the wheel and when she does look at it the wheel the world wow it's pretty crazy um really nice energy but it's a decision to change things up so um i feel like you're right now laser focused on this when you do this it means you have to leave something behind the eight of cups some of you are going to pull this tower you're doing it when you walk away from some kind of partnership i'm just not sure what kind of a partnership it is for you but you're now for some of you this part this part already happened so for some of you I'm getting strongly that you already did walk away from a partnership and you're in the midst of moving towards something else. Um, whatever it is, it's new supportive connections. Uh, it's a, you know, it's, this is, but keep this in mind, this is a great achievement in your life. So if you've walked away from a partnership, it was meant to be. If, you know, it's been a long time coming, right? Um, it kept you in a lack of conscious uh, lack uh, consciousness it kept you in um, this sadness it kept you in it kept you in the fives basically the fives are a difficult place to get stuck um, and you're manifesting yourself out of this look at the magician working with the elements working with spirit making things happen changing their this is I'm changing because I'm making the move to go down a different path. Um, and yeah, it could pull a tower in a relationship, meaning it could, when we see the tower, it's like lightning strikes that happens all of a sudden, and you know, things happen. Uh, it's definitely about, now when I say relationship, I mean partnership, any kind of partnership. This could be a work partnership. This could be a friendship. This could be a love, you know, it could be anything. But whatever it is, you're changing something up you're working with spirit you have tried to make it work for a long time and it's not working so you are going to 
absolutely cause the change yourself. And you're not doing this on the spur of a moment or anything like this. You're doing this because, well, you've been in the lack consciousness. There it is again, five of pentacles, and it's helping you decide what to do, two of swords. See how she's blindfolded and bound and she's wrapped in, I always see these as karmic ties, but she's not anymore. Why? Because she doesn't want to stay like this and all these fives anymore. So she's going to cause change. Three of Pentacles is right there in reverse as well. This could be a job that you hated. A job that felt like you were bound to a lot of drama with the devil here in reverse and all the fives in reverse and the nine of swords in reverse this, and the six of pentacles in reverse. This is your way of cutting the tie with something that was not balanced, that was filled with drama, that could have felt really toxic. It could be a job for some of you. It's a three of pentacles. For some of you, it's a partnership of another kind, okay? Um, so let's get into it and see what comes out. I feel like we need to pull some clarity here and see what's going on spirit and angels anyone for the highest good i feel very strongly that this move is going to bring you into that great achievement new supportive connections and change your complete an old cycle that needed to be completed for a long time so it's time to complete that cycle right let's find out spirit and angels and like i said for some of you you already did this part for a, a few of you for probably maybe even uh, maybe even a hefty percent of you already walked away from this person or this partner or this job or whatever it was what do we need to know here for cancer what are the messages for anyone who's guided to see the cancer reading and resonates with it what do we need to know what are the messages okay let's get a little peek let's look at the uh, two of cups reversed and the tower reversed and the eight of cups all together it's one story whoa there it goes four of pentacles and the tower reversed okay so well this um this says to me we've been trying to hold the tower back okay i've been trying to hold the tower back i you know i don't know how much longer i can hold the tower back um and spirit says let it ride baby let the tower ride a uh wands sometimes we have to because it takes us out of the fives five of swords these doing whatever this is and actually causing movement moving forward leaving something behind being okay with it is going to take you out of these fives these wands are going to take you away from see how they're like taking you away from the five of swords the five of pentacles the five of cups the lack consciousness five of pentacles twice um these this is your oh my god i want you to see something right behind that the third time lack consciousness and the five of pentacles spirit is saying this movement that you will make that you're going to take that you've been avoiding bringing the tower down is the movement needed here to get you out of all these fives um this is your this is your ticket to um a whole new it's your great achievement and it's your ticket out of the status quo and the status quo for you is being in the lack of consciousness you've had it three times three times i don't think i've ever had the three of pentacles come out in all three decks ever um but you know this happens maybe we may we probably have but um i mean just spirit wants you to know that this move that you're planning on making or you're thinking about making or you keeps coming back to you intuitively i don't know if you know what i mean cancer if this has even happened yet when this starts happening where your intuition is telling you make a move do whatever this is um it is your move that spirit's saying you've been holding it back those of you that this is for i feel like you'll know it because you've been thinking about it and contemplating on it and you just feel you feel a little fearful maybe of making this move or because you're in this five of, you've been in this five of pentacles status quo for so long it's hard for you to imagine being in this other energy because it's like it's going to be a whole new colorful world like we talked about last week if you did not see last week's video i almost feel like this is the video you should watch and then watch that one because that showed a, a whole new colorful world coming in for someone and it showed the transition from the darkness into the light so to speak 
I hope that it, it um, you guys will check it out. I'm going to, you know what I'll do? I'll put it at the end of this video for you. So if you stay till the very end, you can just click right into it. Okay. Two of wands reversed here. You're contemplating, you're trying to decide, you know, when you make this move, it's like, now the tower could be, you know, the tower could be for you and your partner. So in other words, maybe you're not leaving a partnership. Maybe you're going to meet a partner along the way, or maybe you're going to take a partner with you, right? It doesn't always have to be we're leaving the partner. The partner somehow is involved in this, or there's going to be a partnership somehow involved in this. I see a beautiful new partnership that's possible. New supportive connections nonetheless. Okay, let's look at the two wands reversed here. Why is two wands reversed here? Cancer reading. Three of cups. All right, so the three of cups um, says to me, you're going. are you going to, uh, this looks to me like it's going to end up being a very happy event for you. So what you've been thinking about and the move you've been thinking of making, it is going to be a great achievement. This is going to cause some kind of celebration when all is said and done here, when you finally have the courage to do whatever this is. It's like almost something you need that present power courage for. That's like the courage card, uh, the strength card. It's like, um, you know, you've been hanging on, not really allowing this to come in. And Spirit says, oh, yeah, let it happen because it's going to change the energy. Three of Cups is a very happy card. Let me look at the Magician here. What do we need to know? The Magician. I feel like you're manifesting in some happiness. Yeah, look. Look at this. I was literally saying this when it came out. You are manifesting in this whole new path for yourself, right? We talked about the new path right there, and it will lead you to happiness. And that's exactly what I was picking up. And look at this. It's the two of wands reversed with the 10 of cups. Then watch this. Boop. That's where you'll end up. You'll go down this path that spirit's lighting for you. And you'll end up at the Ten of Cups. Look at the happiness, the rainbow, the new home, whatever it is. Whatever your happiness is. The new job, the new people, the new friends, the new, maybe new love. Uh, but that is, looks like two best friends chilling out by the water. Um, really, this is what's about to happen for you. It's the thing you're manifesting this whole time. So while you've been doing this, you've been planting seeds with spirit for your whole new colorful world that we talked about last week okay now these are reversed this is the way we want them we want you to start progressing into this um on this new journey and it allows you to release these fives and head into this new beginning so what i see right here is someone who's so deep in thought about turning the wheel this is where we come in it's going to change a whole new colorful world please watch last week's reading i'm going to put it up for you uh on the left you are going to head into this whole new colorful world but you've been holding back for some reason i think it's because well you're well look at her she's like which way do i go like i'm really trying to figure this out but when you do decide, it is taking you to happiness. And I knew that before we even pulled these two out. I knew it. I had a feeling this was what was going on for you. This is going to be so important for you to actually go down the path that you're thinking about. Actually bust the move that you're thinking about. You're already thinking about this. If this is your reading, you already know there's something you want to do. There's some change you want to make. And it takes you right out of the fives, another five in reverse at the bottom. This move you will make will no more fives. Fives are going to be gone from your life and you will have hit a great achievement. And you know what that great achievement is? The sixes. You will be finally out of the fives and you were in them status quo fives in them for a long time. You were in these fives a long time. This is your moment to bust free of them. They, they've got a hold of you. You're holding on to them for whatever reason. And Spirit says, please just let the tower fall and release whatever it is you've been holding on to. Because it's time. This is your tower. You control it. 
You control it. So I say this to everybody all the time. If you have, if you're in a partnership, a relationship, a job, whatever it is, that is not good for you and you're miserable and it's keeping you in all these fives. I feel terrible. I hate this job. I hate my life. I can't stand it. I'm just miserable. Instead of sitting in these fives in this sadness and sorrow and lack, 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 or, you know, you might not even be getting paid well, right? You might be like, I don't even get paid enough. I am, I'm under way too much stress. Nine of swords, six of pentacles reverse. I deal with drama all the time. That's the thing you're going to release. Five of wands, not once, but twice. You know, all of this is for you to release these fives and let go of a cycle that's been a real pain in the butt. Um, but you hold all control here. All control is you. When you say the tower comes down, see, all these were reversed. The four, of one, uh, the four of pentacles in the upright and the tower's reversed. Says, no, 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 no. I don't want the tower. I don't want the tower. And spirit says, let the freaking tower come down so you can move forward into happy, happy over here. I mean, the thing you're thinking about, you keep thinking about it because you know it's going to bring you happiness. And we confirmed that when we saw that you've been manifesting this change in. Okay. And Spirit says if you haven't been manifesting this in because this showed up reverse, it's time. This comes in when you go down the new path. You have to actually walk down the new path and that's when you get this happy happy right this is something you've been planting seeds for this is something you've stayed in the status quo for far too long and spirit says oh no there's so much out there for you if this is a move or there's a it's a big event in your life it's something where you will bring the tower down in one area of your life but it will and remember we are about to go into the lion's gate start preparing right the lion's gate portal i've talked about it all week last week look it up it's a time when you are going to anything that you put your mind to you can accelerate um things that would normally take you all year could take you just a couple of weeks you know big changes could happen like overnight for you and things that would normally take a long time is it's like accelerated for you the energy of this will whatever big bold moves you want to make in your life prepare now because when this lion's gate portal hits you want to have all your ducks in a row okay um I feel like, well, you can do this now, though. You don't have to wait for that, please. Uh, we have other events happening. We have, you know, a new moon that's going to have a lot of power doing things at new moons. You know, we get new moons all the time, once a month. Use the energy of the new moon. It's pretty straight up reading. It pretty much says you pull your tower and you are golden, okay? If you continue to not pull the tower you stay virtually in the status quo and nothing changes you know you stay like that with a tower looming all the time two towers looming all the time um i'd say i don't want a tower looming over me i don't want two towers looming over me i'm gonna pull that mofo myself and that's how i roll um totally up to you of course because everybody's different i'm gonna pull you guys a couple of angel cards and let you go angels um what do we need to know what are the messages what do we need to know what are the messages love balance and trust this is what changes for you you whatever you're moving into you're going to have supportive connections there Okay, this is going to be a big, big milestone event in your life, like a great achievement in your life. Wherever this is, you are going to have trust in your life. You're going to have real love of people that care and balance. These are all, now some of you could actually find romantic love, but this is not a romantic love card, but they look like they could become best friends and then develop. This looks like somebody who could get to really know each other and become lovers, uh, become, no, not just lovers, 
lifetime partners okay and well but this also represents all kinds of supportive connections so with this person comes other supportive people these are people that you're going to want in your life people that don't make you feel left out in the cold and partnerships that don't make you feel like a tower is going to fall at any moment that's where you're going that's what you're heading towards that's your great achievement it's the group of people or the type of people that you will meet on your journey the happiness you will find remember what I said these people look like best friends hanging out by the water and look how happy but that you don't get this till you go down that new path which means you pull your own tower and this is what you find there down that path it's balanced friendships balanced people trust p trusting people and people who love each other and care about each other no towers looming over their head Tell me, Cancer, if you feel like this is your reading and tell me if this is what you want in your life. If you do, if you want this, claim it down below. This is what I want. I claim this and so it is. Absolutely. Beautiful reading. It shows what will, what could be depending on the moves you make. I mean, I literally see here that you're going to have to make a move for this. Okay. Um, and I know this scares cancers and they run into their little crab shell and hide but you can't hide from this because this is it's beautiful you know whatever this is it's beautiful and you're already thinking and thinking about it you already know that once you change this cycle the tower will fall but it's going to fall in your direction not on you away from you <laughs> it's going to fall in the best of ways for you it the tower will fall as in it will free you and you will actually make the move you think about all the time. Look at her. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. And spirit says, then do it. Your happiness lies down that path. And we confirmed that. You know, your happiness lies down that path. You're manifesting it. And all you got to do is make the move and you're going to go down it. But you're, And it's going to put you in a whole new cycle. And it kind of scares you. Uh, but don't be scared. Turn the, turn the wheel. Do it yourself you you have the ability to turn the wheel and you hold the key to bringing the tower down in your favor hey cancer we're back for a brief moment i just clicked off you might not be able to tell depending on how i set it up on the video but um i just noticed at the bottom behind this present power is the courage card and behind the courage card is letting go let the tower fall and the courage to do it i can't believe these were all back here the whole time i didn't see them but they tell part of the story we talked about having the courage to let go of that that holding on for dear life that you've been doing because you're afraid to make the big bold move and the big bold move is what's good for you whatever it is um i hope that this makes sense and i hope i feel each of you will know what your big bold move is i definitely feel some of you are going to move and I've been saying that, you know, since the end of last year. So um, please comment down below. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Don't forget to like. Thanks.